What's up guys? We are walking up on an abandoned chateau here in France and this place was built in the 18th century. It was owned by a family of knights that used to work for the king of France, passed down through generations. The last people to live here were still part of the same family that, that were knights and they were actually in the military, lieutenants, high-ranking people and this castle has been abandoned for quite some time. There's some things left inside, can't know what to take you in there. So let's take a look on the outside and then we'll go inside and check it out. You don't wanna miss this, let's go. So this is just one side of the castle. Looks really old, the roof looks like it needs to be redone. <laughs> but this place used to have gardens all throughout here. There's even some horse stables back there. Look, there's even a little tower right there. This is one beautiful piece of property out here in the woods. We're actually located in kind of a town here. These people owned a lot of land throughout France. This was just one of the places that they owned. The family is still around France, but they just don't live here. They live in some other chateau in a whole different area of France and left this behind just because the maintenance was too much to keep up on it. And since they weren't living here, why would they just stay in it? But, you know, it doesn't make really sense why they wouldn't sell it off. But maybe they just wanted to keep it in the family. I don't know. It's a beautiful place, though. Got Steve Ronin. What's up, gang? What do you think of this place? Yeah, it was uh, pretty sick. Definitely like the architecture a lot. It's unique, never seen it before. Whole bunch of stables out there. You can see the, the iron fence that goes around. There was a fountain right here and all this was like gardens. Everything was beautiful at one point in time. The stables are all falling apart. There is uh, like the roofs are caved in, all that stuff. So we're not gonna check those out, but we're gonna check out the inside of this castle today. So just wanted to show you guys the outside real quick before we go inside. So you guys can see how big it is. Very beautiful chateau. I wouldn't say this like a is a full on castle, but it is a is definitely a mansion. Quite a large house. This is where the fountains and gardens would have been. And there's the stables right over there. And we have a tower right here that's completely overgrown. But just check out this place. Quite a beauty. So without further ado, let's get into the history of this place. Let's get inside and let's show you what's left in this abandoned chateau. Let's go. Today, we take you on an adventure to a beautiful 18th century chateau in a small village in France that has a history of the King's Knights and a military family that once inhabited the stunning mansion. The mansion was passed down many generations, originally owned by knights that worked for the King of France and throughout time, different members of the family lived here and enjoyed magnificent gardens with fountains and amazing meadows that were surrounding the property. But just before it was vacated, the family of mostly men lived here, and they were all soldiers in the French army, and some were even lieutenants. In the early 2000s, the last of the men passed away to hand it down to another family member. But they owned so much property in France that this one wasn't where they wanted to live. So today, it sits abandoned with everything left behind. So join us today, and let's take a look inside. What's up everyone, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another video. Today, we are in an 18th century abandoned castle here in France. This place has a lot of history to it. They nicknamed this place Chateau Assassin's Creed. Uh, and I want to believe that's because this place was owned by knights who actually used to work for the King of France a long time ago. This place is actually pretty marvelous. There's a bat literally flying around right now. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was pretty cool. I'm actually in the man cave. We've made it inside and yeah, 
I cannot wait to show you guys this place. I'm in the man cave right now. This place has a wine cellar. We used to have gardens, stables, everything. It's really echoey in here, so I'm not gonna ramble on too much. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna start off our exploration right down the man cave where I just showed you. We're gonna work our way around the castle, go upstairs, downstairs, everything. We're gonna start off in here. We got Steve Roman. What's up, what's up? And we're ready to see what this castle has to show. So the man cave is really cool, so I'm ready to show you guys this. There's also a wine cellar right there. So you're gonna to wanna to stick through this whole video because there's a lot to see. So here in the man cave, there's a pool table, pretty large pool table. But what I don't understand is there's no holes in the corners. So like, how did you play pool if there's no holes in the corners? This was pretty much for books. It's for books? Yeah. So it's not a pool table? It, it's not a pool table, it's a book table. A book table? Yeah. Oh. I guess like this material, actually. I don't know why. It I'm, looks like a pool table. I know, it looks like a pool table. <laughs> but let's take a look at the wine cellar. But first of all, look at this ceiling. This is literally like a cave. Like, this would be your legit man cave. <laughs> because it feels like a cave. It's like cathedral type ceilings. Very cool. Right through here, we have a wine cellar. My goodness. This thing is loaded. Check out all the wine bottles. I haven't really seen many wine cellars before, but this one is really nice. Look at it. And again, you're in like this cave, so it just gives it that different type of feeling. Must have been a lot of wine bottles right here as well. It doesn't look like anything is left in the bottles. They all look pretty empty. But then check this out. Here's all the corks. Like a whole box of corks right here. Check that out. Just wine bottles everywhere. Back here, looks like they would have just held more wine. And like I said, I haven't seen a lot of wine cellars before, so it's really neat to find these in France. Uh, they're just kind of in a lot of these castles and a lot of the big mansions around here. It's really neat. And uh, I mean, this place was owned by knights and also lieutenants. So these people were in the military as well. They had a lot of money and this is where they lived. They actually own a ton of land throughout France but they don't live anywhere near here. They probably live in some really big chateau somewhere else, but left this one up behind. This old door, it's like stuck. I bet you there's bats in here. No, I don't see anything. This room's kind of empty. I wonder what it was for. And this is where they must have their TV and stuff hooked up. If they did have a TV at one point. This actually opens up. And there is some things left in here. So it's like a big chest. But yeah, this is the man cave of this abandoned chateau. Coming out of the man cave, this is actually your door that leads outside to all the gardens and the stables and everything. It's a big metal door. And this is the staircase you see when you walk in. Beautiful curved staircase made of stone. Goes up to a wooden ceiling with some pretty cool design on it. There used to be a chandelier hanging up too. It's like the wire for it. Look at these like pillars. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but check it out. It's on both sides of the house. 
I'm thinking that's the front door of the mansion. And this is just a side door of some sort. But there's still a couple things to see right here. This is underneath the staircase. See, there's like a desk back there. It's kind of weird. And all the electrical panels and things. It's like a small door here. There's probably bats down here. Gotta be careful. I don't see any yet. But it's not saying there isn't any in here. This is like a workshop. It's like a bunch of different like tools and it's like the boiler room right here. But again, it's like a cave coming through here. And here's your tools. So this is definitely where they would have dug, had their tools and like a little workshop, like I said. All of this. Look at that giant thing in there. It's almost kind of scary. <laughs> There's definitely bats back here. Oh, it's another wine room. Oh, there's a bat. There's two bats. Let's try to stay out of their way. Oh, snap. Gotta see him flying around. Oh, look at that. Oh, god dang. Okay, we're gonna stay out of that room. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Bats have been such a common thing. <laughs> They're flying right at me. I'm glad I'm catching this all on film. Me and Jeremy have been seeing so many bats on this trip. Like, how many do you think we've seen total? Oh god. 10,000? <laughs> Seriously. All right, well, it's time to make our way upstairs, so let's go. And see, I think this is the front door of the castle. It's big red. Looks medieval almost. So the question is, do we go up these stairs? Or these stairs, we'll probably go up these and Steve's over here. First thing we see is this funky looking bathroom with the colors. Here we're entering a bedroom. And this bedroom still has a lot of books left behind, as you can tell. Nice fireplace. So it looks like this was caving in and they had set this up here to keep it from falling anymore. Put it on the support beams. Look at all these books and magazines. It says Historia, so maybe this is like magazines about history. There's all these other books. Wonder what they're from. Edmund Cahan, check that out. De Paris. So a lot of books are still left. Even over here, it's a whole nother collection. Even more behind this. Check that out. Norman Mailer, Prisoner to Sexy. So I wonder what this book was about. When we come out to a hallway, and this looks like it goes out to a balcony of some sort, but in this hallway, there's more books. And that's one thing that I love seeing behind, like, in, the, in these places. I love seeing books behind. I know it's sad at the same time, but it's just, like, really neat to see what people used to read and what they were into, you know? Even though I don't really understand what any of this says because it's all in French. It's even more right here. If you guys can make out what any of this says, let me know down in the comments. Because I'd like to know, you know, some French. I need to really learn. One thing about when I travel is I try to learn, like, as much as I can, but I can't really retain the, the knowledge for languages. Like, mostly what I know is bonjour, merci, um, au revoir, I think it's bye. I'm not sure. I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much as I can, because... I like to I like to be able to interact 
with these people with in different countries. It's really fun to meet new people all around the world. You guys remember when we went to Turkey, we met Injun. He taught us some words. Very amazing guy. Yeah, we would love to meet people everywhere. So, guys, if you're from a different country and you follow this page, comment down below, message me on Instagram. Maybe we can set something up for our next trip. We can meet. Maybe we can explore together. Maybe you can teach us some stuff. So, let's continue on with this explore. It looks like we're entering a bedroom now, and it looks like a complete time capsule. So let's see what it's like. Check out that. There is a bed left in here. There's nothing on the walls, so there might have been paintings at one point. Which is something which is something common you see in Europe is a lot of paintings, a lot of artwork. And look at this, these doors just for the closet actually match the wallpaper, which is a different kind of fabric. Like there's a photo of a castle right there. And another castle. Wonder if these are abandoned. <laughs> I think there is probably a closet on the other side of this door as well. Yeah. See if there's anything left in that. Whoa, the spider webs. It's like nobody's opened this in so long. This looks like an old church. It looks kind of like downstairs. More books, magazines left, hangers, all that good stuff. Dang, that hasn't been opened in so long. Spider webs just like came off with it. But we're still in this room. You guys can see this bed. It's like a little twin bed. I definitely could not fit on it. More books and just check out the spider webs. You can tell this has just been sitting here for such a long time and nobody's really cared for it. This says the suicide, I wonder. That's a, probably a book about a, a suicide that had happened. I wonder if they were religious too. Probably, it seems like a lot of religion goes on over here, but look at these old books. That is super neat. I don't want to open it because I don't want it to like fall or anything. I just wonder what their store goes to. Oh, okay, so this is one of those, one of those things where the room has its own sink. There's a bidet in here. I don't know how that would work though, unless it just comes out. But this is where you brush your teeth, where you get ready in the mornings. Do you get up? Which is really, really nice. I like that idea. sides of the hallway. This book is almost like a library. There's so many books in this place. You could literally just make this into a library. <laughs> My goodness. Look at the floors. The floors in this room look amazing. I love that. How it's like different colored and the way it is it just I just love it. So right here we have another bedroom and this is one of those beds where there would be curtains up here, so this would look really fancy. You could cover it up, make you more privacy. It looks like there was a painting hanging up right there at one point. You can see the difference in color. It's a little more pink. And the walls are just deteriorating over time. The bed doesn't look too old, actually. And this room is all pink. I don't know who this person is, but anybody that comes into an abandoned place and writes their name on a wall, like, you're not an explorer. Like, you're literally just a vandal. Like, come on. Anyways. Look at the big windows. 
Every room has these giant windows. They're probably about uh, eight feet tall, I would say. About eight to nine feet windows. Beautiful details, moldings and everything like that. Just love to see it. But this room is kind of empty for the most part. We can check right in here though. This closet. Look, this was actually to hold your shoes. So you have a bunch of shoes right there. While your hangers are still in here. There are some little things down there. It looks like some toys even. And I love how the closets match the wall. So everything is like so sleek. Here's another closet. Look, here's even a little mirror inside. So I wonder what would have gone on these shelves. Possibly shoes. Some more spider webs. All these hangers are still here. And then I think this is a bathroom. Yeah, it is. Check that out. So, along with the pink bedroom, you have a solid blue bathroom. Check that out. It's just a bidet in here, so the toilet is elsewhere in the house. Which is, I don't know. It's kind of strange to me. Can somebody explain why Europe does this? Why there's a bidet in one room and there's a toilet in another room. So it's like, you don't wipe, you just come and spray yourself, or do you wipe, then spray to make sure it's extra clean? What do you do? Why is it in a different room? Somebody please explain that to me. A little tiny tub, not much. I love that the mirror's not broken and, the, and everything's like still intact. Makes it for a much better place. This even goofy is here on the wall. <laughs> See the spider webs, literally just everywhere in this place. So it feels like we're on the second floor of this house, but really we're on the first floor, it seems like. Yeah, you can tell here's the window, but it really feels like we're on the second floor, which we kind of are. Um, but there's a whole nother floor above us, and maybe even more, we don't really know, we haven't gone up there yet. All of this is kind of blind reactions. So I'm entering another bedroom here, and we're about to take a look at it. The wallpaper. I love that there is different wallpaper throughout homes here in France. So either they had two beds here or it was like two put together to make one big bed. Sometimes they do that. Definitely a nice little spot. The beds look kind of comfy, honestly. And I love how each room has some sort of really amazing fireplace. Some of them have different stone than others. And then look at all the books. They're all just left here. This is like a... Move this out the way. Like this is like a history book of France. History de la France. So I wonder if this tells you, maybe it shows you historical people throughout France. Yeah, look at that. Wow, so like medieval. I freaking love this artwork. This tells you all the stories. Obviously, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to read it, but check out that, the ships. Whoa, look at her hair. Oh my gosh, that is up high. Amazing ballroom, looks like kings. Look at that, so fancy. Royal people here in France, wow. This looks like the bathroom. Again, there's a bidet, uh, a sink, a bathtub, all that stuff. Not really too interesting, this one. Floor's kind of cool, but as far as the rest, just, you know, you're playing old bathroom. I gotta check the closet out. It's in the closet of this place. A lot of books. They should call this place Chateau de Books. <laughs> look at that. So many. So I want to take a look outside. Right out here, there would have been gardens everywhere. There's a fountain. And this would have been absolutely beautiful. All the stables are back there. You see the 
the gate, the iron gate that goes all the way around this place. Pretty amazing. And that's all the stables for their, their farm and their horses and everything. But the castle itself is left like this. Just forgotten about. So right here we come back out and we're at the staircase again. So we kind of worked our way around right there, back here. You can see how it spirals down. And this isn't the only staircase in the house either. There's more. Whoa, this room gets so bright. Look at the big doors, the French doors everywhere. It's got more of like a brick, hexagon brick, right here on the flooring. And then we enter another bedroom. This one has two beds in here. This one gives like squatter vibes for some reason. I don't think anybody has ever squatted in this house, but it just gives that weird vibe with this blanket and the pillow being there. Or maybe explorers have slept in here, who knows. Again, your bidet, your little area to get ready. This room is more of like a teal green, like a very light teal green color. It's hard to even tell on camera what color it is. Almost looks like a light blue, but it's actually more of a teal green with the two beds in here. This is probably a living room, I'm gonna say. It's very bare in here. Would have been a chandelier hanging up. But I'm definitely gonna say this is a living room of some sort for now. Might change, just depends on what the other rooms look like, but this gives a living room vibe. An amazing fireplace here. Very beautiful, it's like a pink type of stone. Kind of large, would you love to see it? There's even wiring coming through, so there definitely was like a painting hanging there with some lights, light fixtures and everything. The walls are kind of like a yellowish pink, and it might have just been a pink color, and it faded over time. I'm seeing these little things on the ground here, so there must have been a dresser or something right here that they removed. Oh, there's some... Oh, look at these bugs in here. The bugs are gross. Look at that. But yeah, this looks like a living room of some sort. Maybe it was. Look at how like dark the ceiling is just from it deteriorating so much. It might even be black mold. Well, I don't see any signs of water damage either. So it's a bit weird. Come through some more French doors here. This looks like these like doors. They're like sealed shut. Don't know if they're supposed to open or even what's in them. I wonder what's in them. <laughs> I'm very curious. Get another very nice fireplace. This has like a bluish green with some red in there. There used to be a mirror hanging up here. It's all broken. But you can just see how beautiful it was. Look at the ceiling. Right there, you can definitely tell a chandelier was hanging up. Not tell no telling how nice it was. It's probably amazing. The curtains are still here. Come out to another room here with some more brick flooring. Check this out. It must have been maybe a, uh, I don't know. Looks like there were shelves here, so there must have been books or something. Maybe even statues or whatnot. All right here. And check this out. Part of this is completely collapsed. I see a cabinet right here. Still has all the stuff in it. I wonder what's through there. Look at this, it's all collapsed right here. Look, they have more supports right there. Don't worry guys, we're gonna see more rooms with stuff in them. But, just check this out. I wanna show you guys everything in these houses I explore, even if they're empty. Some of them have still very beautiful architecture.
Pretty empty. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is a staircase. Let's get a better look at it. That's beautiful. See, we got a lot more stuff to see upstairs. This place is quite large. But this is like your front entrance, probably. I'm gonna guess. Oh, this is like a... Like a coat rack. Oh, Jeremy hit his bag in here, just in case. But, look at that. The lamp is still here, the boots. It's like the rain boots are still right here, so if it's a rainy day, you can go outside. But look at this beautiful staircase. I love the way it curves. There must have been a painting right here at one point. The frame is still there, but the painting's gone. We'll go upstairs here in just a second. I gotta keep looking around. Go through some French doors. Looks like we're entering the kitchen now. So here in the kitchen, it is um, not what I expected, honestly. It's kind of small, but it gets the job done. Here's a sink, it's all metal. You got this tiling all along here, you got your oven. Looks like they left plenty of glasses behind. But this kitchen is all like yellow. This doesn't feel like it'd be a grand kitchen, but maybe that's just not how they had this house. Thankfully there's nothing in the fridge. I wasn't expecting there to be anything, but you know, like I said, we gotta open the fridges. Even the dishwasher is still full of stuff. Check that out. This is where they would have hung clothes up to dry after they had washed them right there. Look at this. More dishes left behind. And there's just spiders on everything. Some are dead, but they're just everywhere. Looks like we come down some steps. Look at this, this is even a little baby chair. It's even got little toys for the kid. It's very tiny, I've never seen one like this. Here's your toilet. Definitely looks like it's been used recently. Wallpaper is falling off. Cleaning supplies. What's up, Jeremy? What up? See anything cool? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just interesting. I think all up here is the servants' quarters. It definitely looks like it, because this kitchen's like kind of plain for yeah. a castle, you know? Yeah, it's definitely like utility style kitchen. And I think all up here, I think this is the butler's pantry, and I think all up here is the servants' quarters. Okay. You can just tell, like, how the building's not very, like, fancy. It's, it's like... Compared to the rest of it? Yeah, compared to the rest of it. It's, like, very utilitarian. But it looks really cool. You can see, like, the wooden beams and, like, how the building was made and stuff. Oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah. It's really dark. There might be bats. We don't know. Could be. Yeah, check this out. There's brand new corks in here. All these tools. So this is probably, yeah, this is definitely the butler's pantry. This is all these tools and stuff. Look at the size of this mouse trap. My goodness. <laughs> Catching some rats with that thing. Check out all the glasses left. All these jars. Dang. You know, they probably did like peach preserves and olives and all that kind of stuff. And this was probably the servant's staircase here. More glasses. So they definitely didn't want anything to do with their jars anymore. Take a look at these staircase. It's a little bit, it's a little bit wonky. It is a little bit wonky, let me tell you. It's not as fancy, like Jeremy said. A lot of magazines here though, check that out. Tons and tons and tons of magazines. And the wood beams are pretty cool to see too. Into our room here. Check out all these beds, all these mattresses. Got a couch in here, a sink. Look at all these papers. 
Give me some old letters in here. 1947 is when that's from. So we got some pretty old, old letters in here. This doesn't feel like it was abandoned too terribly long ago. A lot of beds in here though, like tons of mattresses. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Look at the floor, how it's like warped. That's all brick. It's literally, I don't know if you can tell, but it's literally like, like this, like a wave. These don't look like, these look like desk chairs. Huh, that's strange. And then back here, there's even more chairs, but they're not like the desk chairs. Hmm, I wonder what these are for. Like, why is it here, you know? bed frames. This is a really nice chair right here. I like chairs like this. They're always pretty comfy. This one's a bit broken though so we don't want to mess with that. Some old plates, some pans. And then there's this portrait of this. I think it's a girl. It might be a boy. Not sure. But look at that. Definitely a bit older. I love seeing artwork. Let's go back down, let's go upstairs. Let's see the rest of this house. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And I'm so excited to see what's upstairs. I think there's gonna be a lot more left behind. So let's just go find out. All right. Beautiful staircase. So check it out. First thing you come to is a bathroom. Well, the floors. Got the bidet in here. Got the bathtub. Then straight off from that bathroom, here's our first bedroom we come into. The beds are still here. Check that out. Two beds in here. One looks like a, a queen size bed. One's a bit smaller. Of course they got their own fireplace here and I believe that this was the family. This was the soldiers, the lieutenants, the knights. That's amazing. Check that out. Imagine just how old this photo is. Everybody looks so fancy. They're all looking at different places too. One's looking at the camera, one's looking away, one's looking that way, one's looking left, one's looking right. We have sheets of music. Some more writing. Oh, this is one of those, uh, one of those things again. <laughs> there's a sink, there's a bidet, very nice. So you can tell that this side's much more Fancy than the other side. Some better bedrooms, some bigger bedrooms. And this is the hallway that we're coming down. Some books right here, but let's go into this bedroom. Wow, check it out. There's a little bed here, a little single bed. I get actually kind of confused with the size of the beds. I think this is a single bed. It's really small, it can only fit literally only one person. Got the pink walls. Looks like it was pink at one point, but was covered up with this horse and carriage wallpaper here. Which is very nice. You have this carpet that almost looks like Native American carpet. Like Native American rug. The style of it. Coming from Oklahoma, you know, I see stuff like this all the time. It's another single bed over here. The blanket is still folded up as if somebody is just ready to sleep on it. More of this wallpaper, this horse and carriage wallpaper. And of course, same thing as all the other rooms. A place to get ready in the morning with a bidet and all that good stuff. So I told you guys, it starts getting better and better as we go up. This is the top floor. So we're seeing more bedrooms as we come here. Oh, look at this bed. Check out all these books. Oh yeah, the funky wallpaper, look at that. Yeah, it's got funky wallpaper. <laughs> wow. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so I love how the wood comes in here. It looks just so cool. Almost looks like a tree house. There's blue wallpaper at one point. Now there's this funky yellow wallpaper. You got the queen size bed in here. And Jeremy says he thinks this was a teenage girl's room, which I can definitely understand why. Looking at this, it's like they put magazines and stuff inside the drawer. It's really neat. Else? Yeah, look at that. It's even more like that. It's like a tiny little bed here. Like this is a bed I would get for like my dog or something. It's really tiny, maybe it's for a toddler, probably. Ceiling is kind of caving in right there. You can tell it's all just falling there. But yeah, look at that. Queen size bed, man, right here. Like we got in the closet, we have more shoe holders here. It's a really smart thing to get. I need that for my house. Honestly, look, here's even a Vogue poster. Wonder how long ago this was from. It's really cool. See something from Vogue here. Here's their bathroom. Whoa, look at how blue it is. Almost looks like the ocean in here. <laughs> looks pretty wild. Wow, even the cologne and stuff is still in here. This might have been a teenager's, teenage boy's room. Either or, honestly. Look at the webs. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's literally webs going up and down on all of this. All these books are still here. It's like literally they call this place Chateau Assassin's Creed. And again, I'm not really sure why. Because this place just has a ton of books. But maybe it is because it was owned by Knights at one point. But, you know, I've never really played the game Assassin's Creed, so I couldn't really tell you. Maybe I need to start playing it. I don't know. So back in the hallway, going this way, here's your water heater. There's some books, some tools and things left behind in this. So we have a room to our left here. Let's check it out. Oh wow, this is a large bedroom. Whoa, so you got the red bed. That's really neat. And look at this like modular type couch here. I feel like you should have multiple pieces and this would be like a sectional of some sort. That's really cool though. I love seeing funky furniture. I love having it myself. I'm more of a tacky person. I know people don't like these tacky houses or, you know, weird houses, but I think it's unique and I love it. You know, it's better to be unique and weird than to be just a normal, plain old person, you know? So that's just me. I love weird stuff. Of course, it has its own bathroom with the bidet and everything. More plain right here, but I love how every single room has their own sink and bidet and tub. This might have been the master bedroom. I'm starting to think it is. Cause there's like a whole big closet over here. Look at that, some snow boots are left behind. Quite a much larger room than the rest. But I just love this red bed right here. Tell me what you guys think, but I definitely think this is a master for sure. So we're on to our final bedroom here. Wow. This one has like a green bed. Check out the wallpaper, it definitely matches with the wallpaper. Gives it a good vibe in here. Couch, you got the two nightstands that still have the lamps on them and everything. But check this out. There's like a collection of these match uh, magazines. There's a whole stack right here and a whole stack right here as well. And there's possibly even a ton more throughout this. Crazy to see all this stuff left. Bathroom probably, yep. Look how solid red it is, it's like a cherry red. Kind of 
kind of be uncomfortable, honestly. Look how red that is, though. That is a crazy red. Here's a bunch of these green magazines. This is such a cool house. Look at that. Wow. I'm just blown away at this place. Then we come back around to the staircase. We open up the door here. Here's your toilet. So this is like everybody's toilet for upstairs. Take a look down the stairway. And then take a look right here. These wood panels go across. It's really neat. I like to see stuff like that. We've made it back to the man cave and we've seen this entire abandoned chateau that was once owned by some knights, lieutenants, all that good stuff. This is an amazing exploration. I know that it's a little bit bare in some rooms, but it's still amazing to go back in time and see the history of these locations here in a different country. I am so excited that I got to bring you guys along and my friends abandoned Nashville and Steve Ronan. So if you guys want to check them out, the link is down in the description. And we're going to get out of this place. I hope you enjoyed. And it's time to head to the next location. We have a couple more days left of the France trip. We've been going, going, going every single day. And tomorrow is going to be another banger. So just stay tuned for the rest of the series. And until next time, Big Banks out.